two places. And there, the Ligier being tidied up. Matthias Becker in trouble at La Source. And out of the race, Kuhn Walters. Looks like his race is over. He's walking away from the car. We'll take a look again with Kuhn Walters. Quick start down the inside. On the left, Bob Herbert. Right in front is Roger Grouse. And the Ligier gets sideways about here. Oh, he just can't avoid it. And that was a big impact. I can't do anything further. I'm sitting on the side of the box. I tried to much I could do, really. I was on the inside of the corner to try and avoid some of the pushing and shoving at La Source. Something obviously happened on the exit and the spinning car was right in the road. I can only assume it, it wasn't his fault. No blame for me either. A shame, really, but that's how it is. We had a good and clean start, says Matthias Becker. Perry van Elk got round me on the outside. He hit the Ginetta on the exit. I stayed clear of the Ginetta, stayed on the outside. Somebody hit me from behind. So I spun, slid across the track into the midfield. And then uh, the complete front of the car was destroyed. The team have managed to fit a new nose to the car. It's impossible to drive the car without it. But we're still in the race right now. And the aim is to finish. That's the most important thing at the moment, and our spirits are high. We'll take a look again from Michael Verhagen. At the start, going past the Ligier now, turns in, but watch his hands. Looks like there is contact with the Ligier, and that might be what caused the spin. Verhagen losing ground as John Wilder in the all-white Porsche goes by him, and Phil Mulders also goes by. 